everyone. Welcome all of you to English Grade 9 of MISAO in the Super Memory for Schools program. Today is Unit 7, Saving Energy, Lesson 2. Listen and read. Alright, let's discover new vocabulary and grammar together and see what we have today. Solar energy, solar panel, to install, luxury, necessity, consumer, energy saving bulb, account for, innovation, effective. About grammar, today we will study phrasal verb, verb plus preposition or adverbs. Dear my beloved students, let's start to uncover the new words. These are some kinds of energy. The sun. The sun gives us solar energy. Solar energy. This is the solar panel. The solar panel is installed on the roofs of the house to store the solar energy. And the solar energy is used to heat the water. This is the solar panel. The solar panel is set up on the roofs of the house to collect the solar energy. After that, we use it to make the water warm and to consume for housework purposes. Solar panel to install. What's this? This is water. Is it expensive? No, water is not expensive. But if we don't have water, we can't survive. Is the water expensive? It is inexpensive, isn't it? However, if we don't have water, we definitely can't live. So water is not a luxury, but it is a necessity. Luxury, necessity. Look at the woman. She is shopping. We can call her a customer or consumer. Consumer. Look at the picture. I have two light bulbs. The one in the right is the ordinary light bulb, but the one on the left is energy saving light bulb. I have two light bulbs. The right-hand side light bulb is a normal light bulb, and the left-hand side light bulb is an energy-saving one. Energy-saving bulb. Look at the cake. The piece of chocolate accounts for 25% of the cake to account for. Let's take a look at the cake. The piece of chocolate accounts for one quarter of the cake. Innovation. What is innovation? Innovation is the introduction of new things, new ideas or new ways of doing something. For example, in our daily life, we have computers or smartphones. They can help us work more effectively. Innovation. Effective. Next, we have the adverbs of effective. Effectively. Let's review these new words today together. Solar energy. Solar panel. To install. Luxury. Necessity. Consumer. Energy saving bulb. Account for. Innovation. Effective. Next, we move to the grammar part. In this section, we learn about phrasal verbs. Verb plus preposition or adverbs. Today, we highlight the phrasal verbs that go with prepositions or adverbs. I have turn. It is a verb and it goes with on. Then I have the phrasal verb turn on. The meaning of a phrasal verb is not obviously the same as the meaning of two words combined. It can be the same or not or have a very different meaning. For example, turn on means switch on. Likewise, I have the verb turn that goes with the preposition of. 
I have the phrasal verb turn off, which means power off. I have the verb look, which goes with the adverb after. I get the first phrase look after to take care of. As that way, I give the verb go that pluses with the adverb back, and I get the verb phrase go back or return. And especially, phrasal verbs can combine with verbs, prepositions, as well as adverbs. For example, I have the verb look that goes with the adverb forward and goes with the preposition to. Then we have the phrasal verb look forward to, which means to expect. Let's see how to use phrasal verbs in the following example sentences. She can't go to the movie with us tonight. She will have to look after her little sister. Tonight, she can't go to the cinema with us. She has to take care of her little sister. Look after. Now let's revise vocabulary and grammar. What vocabulary do we learn today? Solar energy, solar panel, to install, luxury, Necessity, Consumer, Energy Saving Bulb, Account for, Innovation Effective. In the grammar section, please pay attention to the phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs consist of a verb that goes with a preposition or an adverb. Today's lesson ends here. I wish you all the best in your studying time. I hope to see you again in the next English class of Miss Town in the Super Memory for Schools program. Goodbye and see you later.